Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel once again. In my last video, I had shown you how to convert a Flutter app into a Flutter web version as you can see in this screen right now on the browser it's running. In that video, I did cover how to upload images in Flutter web because in Flutter web, uploading images is quite different than how you upload in our Flutter apps. There are some methods are different that we use to upload images into a Firebase storage. In this video, I will completely guide you how to upload an image to Firebase storage with the help of Flutter web applications. If you haven't seen my last video, how to convert a Flutter app into a web version, then you can check the link in the description I will be giving and, uh, and also the source code, uh, it will be available on the description itself. If you are new to my YouTube channel, then you can consider subscribing to this channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get the notifications as soon as I upload my next videos. So let's start how we can upload images in our Flutter web version. So let me take you to the VS Code what we have already done in my last videos. This is the previous example as you can see this is the Flutter demo and it is being displayed here and uh, we have a uh, images to Gmail button and upload images. So last time what we did is that we tried to upload images to our Firebase storage to this folder and today we will do the same with the help of flutter web version and what are required and how to write the codes to completely upload the images successfully into firebase storage so please watch the videos till the end to get the full knowledge first we will require one package called uh, file picker because in flutter web image picker will not work i will show you what will happen if you do not use the file picker. What you need to do is you have to come back to this pop.dev site and to look for file picker. I will be showing you what will be the problem if you don't use this file picker in our Flutter web version. Let me go to my website and try to upload the images. Suppose gallery is there and I am going to choose and I am choosing the burger image and when I am uploading it says image.file is not supported on Flutter web. Consider using either image.asset or image.network instead. This is happening because if I go back to my code here, here this line image.file, this file path. In our Flutter web version, file path is not being identified or not recognized. Instead of that, what we can do, we will have to use image.network, sorry, image.memory method. We have a, another method called is image.memory method. This has to be there to work in your Flutter web version and this will be passed as an image uh, in the format of bytes. I will be showing you how we can convert that. Before that come back to this uh, our Flutter pop that dev site and look for this file picker copy copy this line. You already know this thing, how to do that. So I am just going here and uh, I am going to add file picker on my popspec.yml and let's let's save it so that it can download the file picker packages into our application. I hope it has already done. If you see exit code 0 then it ran successfully or it got the packages successfully. Now come back to our account.dart file where we have to write some codes. See it, it requires a it accepts a properties called unit 8 list of bytes. This byte property will have to be a format of unit 8 list. How we can do that? We will have to declare a variable or property you can see of unit 8 list. Let me just create a unit 8 list. See on the right on the below. This is the unit la, unit 8 list and I will give any name you can give. I am just going to give a selected image byte. Byte. Selected image in bytes. It will be uh, okay to understand what the name itself says. So I will have to go here. When you click on the upload images button, uh, we will have to get the file in the unit 8 list or byte format. So let me just go here. This is choose image, right? I will go to this show picker because right now we do not need any show picker because the show picker is something here. If I just reload. This is what the show picker because it will ask you to choose either gallery or camera. 
in our flutter web it is not required that much to have this selection because you can directly pick the files or images or anything directly from your file explorer so i'll be removing this method and directly call the file picker or the method to choose or to select the files so i'll be copying this one directly and i'll go back to my upload image method and i'll just comment it and i'll paste the another method select file we need this method only and instead of this file image picker i will create a class of file picker result this file picker result will be available in your package that we just added in this popspec.yml file this is the file picker package which will give us the file picker result and we'll have to get the file picker result and the class with the help of which we can get is file picker and uh, platform then get pick files as you can see the fi pick files method returns a result of file picker results of future whenever you try to call any method that returns as a future you have to abide that method so that you can directly store that result into the assignment property like we have in left hand side file picker result and the variable is file result check whether this file result is null or not if we want to store the file name values what we can do just uh, paste the file result and uh, go and look for files then fast the, sorry fast then name and it will store our select file this select file is used here to check whether the select file is empty or not if it is empty then it will uh, go to this section otherwise it will go to this section so let me go back to that method file now we stored the file names that we picked let me just print this one what will be the value after selecting the images format it now i'm just printing the file name after uploading the image or after selecting the images so let me just select file there is some error here so it says there is an error because the property which we just created above we have to pass it to this method image.memory now let me go and save and uh, try to run this just press ctrl r so that our application gets reloaded now you can see if i choose any image it will directly open up our file explorer and you can choose the image from there so i'm just selected that image now it says this bytes is not equal to null okay what happened is that this select file is not empty and it is coming back to our select uh, to this line image.memory and it is looking for any byte format images but we haven't converted our choosed or picked file into our uh, byte formatted so before setting that we'll have to format that file into byte format here we set that value and if i go selected by images selected image in byte formats and file result copy this line it provides one method or one property bytes this will actually convert our file into byte format now if i go and reload the application then we can upload the image or we, or we can select the image without any error so the application is reloaded i'm going to select the image again i have choose chicken burger now you can see the burger image is displayed it worked because i stored the image in byte format here and i, I and i'm passing that byte image format into our image.memory method there are lots of properties that you can play with, play with like we have string semantic levels and width height of that widgets uh, and color and other things are there 
so we will not go that much depth into those now our next target is how we can upload that image into our 5 storage now the choosing of image is done let's go to the upload file method in my last videos you might have observed that this is the our uh, file based bucket reference now we are getting the reference and we are trying to put or push that file into our file based storage here you can see this is the line ref dot put file this is used or this will work in your flutter app but in case of flutter web applications it will not work let me show you what kind of error we will get so i am going and the image is already selected or picked by us let me open the console so that you can see the error i am clicking on the upload button if i go here here it says cannot read properties okay uh, let me yeah this is not there because file is not available right now here we have a property called select file name let me reload this once again go back to our application choose the image again clear the console if i hit the upload button what happens let's see it says cannot read properties of null okay at this line it says the properties of null because we this file dot path is not recognized in in flutter web version so for that to avoid this error what we can do is we will have to let me comment it and copy that line so that i i can call another method of our reference our firebase instance provides another method put data you can see it accepts a property of byte list like unit 8 list it is of a byte format which is just created a property at the top of the our class file this method has to be called and i'll pass the selected image byte file if you hover on this put data method it accepts you can see that it accepts another property called metadata it means that it will understand that this kind of this kind of files are only allowed to store into or upload to our file storage let's create a metadata property uh, go and uh, give a name metadata and the class is setable metadata you can see this, there is a class called setable metadata and it has to be called with the reference of file based storage it access it has few properties but we need this last two content type and custom metadata i am going to uh, give the properties of content type it will be image of jpeg or any kind of and another property is that custom metadata it has to be like our uh, picked file it will picked file path i think it's not required uh, you can just give this only and pass this metadata to our put data method let me save and see what will happen if we try to click on the uh, upload method and save it and uh, now let's see what will happen i am reloading the application uh, i think the application is reloaded let's check uh, let's select the image and uh, let me clear the console fast and i'm going to click on the upload button see it shows nothing it whether it stored the images or not let me go inside this files there are no images right uh, so but here you can see it has stored some uh, it has uh, printed some image url what is the product slash set select file i think we have we are looking in different location here you can see image has been uploaded successfully and the bulk of the image is here let me go and uh, choose another file of my favorite actor who is none other than sarukh khan his upcoming movie is there pathan 
so this is the image and i'm just going and clicking uh, on save and it should have uploaded the image into our bucket let me reload this one go back and come back to this yes you can see sarks image is uploaded successfully this is the way that we can do file upload or image upload into our fire based storage with the help of flutter web applications uh, you can upload any kind of files pdf audios videos any kind of file that is supported in web applications so if you liked the video or, or if it helped you in any manner you can share this video to your friends and colleagues so that they can also learn and implement in their web applications if you have any doubt or if you have any queries or if you are facing any kind of problem then you can comment in the comment section so that i can reach to you to solve your problem thank you so much for watching this video till the end and uh, to implement this feature in your exciting flutter web applications see you in the next video till then keep watching my other videos thank you so much once again